Guys, welcome to this video. Richard Butler, Video Community Manager here at Pitchgrand. In my last video, I showed you how to sign up for an account and apply a promo code. Now, this is where I left you on creating a chatbot. So let's create a new bot. I can either click on the plus sign here or on create bot. So let me click on the plus sign. Now, the first thing you're going to be asked is choose a language, and you have two options at the moment, English or Russian. Then choose a business area, and I'm going to say this is for customer service. And then it says enter in your corporate email. So that is the email that you actually signed up with. So let me just click on create assistant. Now, let's go over the basics here. There's a welcome message. When the bot starts, it gives a welcome message. So let me just put in a message here. I'll just pause this. Okay, so I've put in my welcome message here. Hi, this is Richard Bot. I'm Richard's personal assistant and I'm here to help. First message they'll see, I'll click on save. Now the second constant that we have, which is called a constant, is the unexpected message. When the bot doesn't know how to answer something, it comes up with this message. So I'm just learning, so please maybe ask me the question another way, as I did not understand it. I click on save. Those are the two messages that are constant that are always shown at the beginning and when the bot doesn't know how to answer the question. So let's go into dialogues here. Now we have a number of things here. We have the builder, which is where you build the bot. We have tags where you can actually tag certain content so certain answers will come up. And then you have forms which you use to get people to book one of your services. Now the first thing that's really important is to understand what you want the bot to do. So I'm going to have a very simple bot that is going to understand when people ask about coaching and when they ask about pricing of coaching. Just those two things to start the bot off and then you can build it into more advanced. What I found is that like everything, if you try and do everything on the first go, well then it's just gonna become very complicated. So let's start with that. Now we have a new key intent. Um, this is the sort of questions that they could ask. So I'm gonna say that the first thing that somebody might ask is, hi, hello, or hola. And I'm gonna click on save. I can click in here and if I just go back, I'm just going to edit this key intent and I'm gonna call this intro. And I click on save. Now I click on the plus and I have two things that I can do. I can give an answer back to the person or I can go to a form, which at the moment, if they say hello and I say book, well then uh, book a coaching session, it's a bit too soon. So let me create an answer block here. So I'm going to edit this and I'm gonna call this uh, reply to greeting. And I click add variant and I'll fill in an answer here and I'll say, hi there. How can I help? And I click on save. Now, there's a number of options. There's text, there's button and function, but for now we're just going to look at text and I click on save. Now, once I've replied to the greeting, I click on the plus sign and there's now two possible, three possible things that can happen. They can give me another answer, I can create a form, or that can be an intent. An intent is like another question they will ask. Now you'll see that there's a red dot here and that means that the logical structure hasn't been finished. So I've created an intent, but I haven't given an answer to that question. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create some answers here. So I click into it here, possible questions. How much is a coaching session? How long is a coaching session? What is coaching? Okay, so there's three possible questions that I'm saying that they can actually ask me. So I click on save, I go back here, and I call this coaching. Now I have to add the answer to this. Now, the problem is how does the bot know what is a coaching session and what is the price, etc. Well, this is where I'm going to go into tags and I'm going to create some tags. And I'm going to call the first one, what is coaching? And I'm going to add values here that could come up. What is coaching? Coaching, explain coaching. And you'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. The price of coaching. So I'm going to type in the tag price. And the possible values that somebody might use are cost, price, maybe how much. So I go back to my builder and I go here to coaching. And I'm going to start to tag things here. So how much is a coaching session? So much I'm going to tag with price. So what is coaching? 
I'm going to tag with this one here, what is coaching. And I didn't put in one for length. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get rid of how long is the coaching session. I'm just going to leave it at two questions there. And I click on save. Now I click on the plus and I have an answer and I put in add variant. So if the tag is what is coaching, I'm going to put in coaching is a method of helping people discover the answer to the problem. And then click on save. I could add another tag here. So if somebody had a uh, why coaching it would give the same answer but for now I don't want to do that I want to add another variant which is uh, the price so if somebody mentions the word price I'm going to put in each coaching session is one hour long and costs $60 per hour and I'm going to click save there so I click on save uh, let me just go back and I'll just put in the titles here. Now, the, the reason for putting those titles in is because it just makes it easier to see what is actually happening. So let's just check that bot now. Let's just see what happens. So I'm going to go train the bot. That is really important because that just gets the bot ready for use on your website or on Facebook. So let me just pause the video while this is training. Okay, so the bot has been trained. So if I just move myself over here for one second, I want to go to configure. And you'll see it says my channels are empty here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create the widgets to put this bot on my domain. So I'm going to put this on richardbutler.coach and I'm going to say generate code. And this code comes up here. What do I do? I simply click on copy code and I put that on my website. So in the next video, what I wanna show you is how to put this code on your website and then what will happen when we actually use the bot.